Okay. Well, the Zero Legends music. Banger. Okay. A great start. I like that. Cyber. Who doesn't like Cyber, right? Look at him. Right there. Cyber. Hanging out. Having fun. Slowly approaching my base. Okay. So, this one thing is we definitely wear meat shields. Oh, big sal. Oh my god. Yo, I was to say big sal. No, um. Axolotl, how are you doing? This is an interesting duo. I actually like this duo. Unless I got a gory. But I do like this duo. It's not that bad. A little bun bun. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I'm loving the enemy combos. See, I love these type of stages, you know? Just with these cool, wacky enemy combos. That's what I love so much. Definitely a UL thing to me. It looks like it would be a UL stage. If Honestly, if Uncanny Legends had event bosses, I think this would be an Uncanny Legends stage. They're pushing quite a bit. I think it's fine. This shouldn't be that bad. This is not that bad of a stage. Well, Luke, don't say that. You're, you, oh my god, you don't. I hate when I say that. Like, unconsciously, I hate that. Don't say that, Spook. As you never know how the like how the difficulty will like change. Can we kill a cyber fast, please. That's like a really good time to kill a cyber. Fortunately not. We chipped him a little bit though. So yeah, so far the stages. I like the stage so far. It's really nice. Um, very interesting combo. Little bun bun, like right here. Little bun bun and general gory. Not bad of a duo. They're very- they're, they're not- they're both like heavy ass pushers. Oh my god, dude. Uh, be fair. Oh, and they're coming out again. Another wave. I think I just played horribly. I have like no cash either. Alright, so... Next attempt. Level up my wallet a little bit. Because I didn't level up my wallet this time. And bring out more seafarers once the gories like kind of push towards me. Octo. Yeah, Octo's legit like the only counter. Almost the only counter. There's other counter measures, but they're not as effective as Octo. But or at least they need to be paired up with Octo to still win. Like Sniper of Deadeye works quite well, even though with the 70% resistance. Ability resistance. I've seen people use Sniper of the Deadeye on that stage to beat it Uberless. It's impossible no gotcha. I think it's one of the first stages that is actually impossible no gotcha, right? That's insane. Ponos is really revving up the difficulty to unfair scales, which kind of sucks, but... Ponos be Ponos! Ponos, you're not making 2024 look promising. Alright, this is going much more better. Look at this, Cyberpunk here to help and all that. So be careful of cash, level up a little bit. Okay, now we're chipping him away. I think we can... Yeah, Housewife is good here. We can chip him uh, with Housewives more because of the range. So that is great. Even when they come back out, Housewife can still chip. Yes! Look at that. Perfect. Honestly, I have to admit, I think Metal Cat helped a lot too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful, mate. I think Metal Cat pretty much carried hard there. With, of course, Housewife getting those uh, hits in. Like, additional hits from the back lines. Like, we don't have Cyber to pressure us anymore, so we're good. I really should have brought Octo then, shouldn't I? I have any cinematic macho legs octo next time if you lose this because I have like no cash now And we have like a bunch of pushers We also got a wave guy coming. Oh, no, no axolotl stop. Thank you. He missed. Thank god. God. I love seafair Survivability really helps survives the waves Seafair is definitely one of the best units in the game, bro. So broken so good amazing Chip him. Thank you Pushing them back. Don't wave, please I waved. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Honestly, I can do this now. I think once I get to like this stage of just chipping, just auto CPU and double speed. That is how I'm gonna do it. Because this is gonna take too long. We have other things to do. Let's just kind of hurry it up here. Look at this. Oh. You gotta be careful. Metal Cat champion. Okay, CP Metal Cat too. He resists the waves quite well. I'm just think back so far. First stage is pretty cool. Not too out of a stage, yeah. It's not that bad. It's just about chipping down that cyber as fast as possible, I guess. 
to relieve all that like pressure and then you're good to go like that ggs and this sage is giving me some flashbacks of road to murder because of the background and that sage was not fun i couldn't i can't even beat it it's chapter one cause and still unbeatable AI hey, really be pulling off crazy stuff aren't they <gasps> Tin, how are you doing i love buffington every time i see a buffington i know it's gonna be a good stage actually most of the time it is sometimes it can be bad but that's like a ponos thing but when i see him in dcu i'm happy because i know it's gonna be a cool stage i think buffington is like in ul16 i think that's where he's introduced somewhere around there all right so cone cat <laughs> that's all i can think about right now cone cat because we got aku and relic together here whoa okay we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good a lot of things are happening no death surge i hate it that's evil stop is this just the beginning or is this the whole stage where you just have to like survive paying waves i have no clue i feel like it's basic thing i think it's a little too tame to be basic because normally if things are timed they'd be coming out like pretty quick and hastily uh, another thing that could possibly work is maybe cone research too if it if it's more consistent with Aku's and relics after base hit because cone and research is really good when we want to fight against these two traits all right well i guess we just gotta get a more optimal lineup that's probably that's mostly the game plan here it's cone cat gonna save the day with his amazing tankiness except for the gabriels gabriels might be a little bit of a problem why I Gabriel? Oh my god, Bullet Train, you make can't miss. I did not mean to bring Manic Block Troll legs out. Now he's gonna do wave, which is gonna cause Buffington to attack a little bit more frequently. Not a fan. We gotta kill this uh the pangs, bro. Nice savage blow. Oh my god, I love oh Housewife is so freaking cool. Housewife is definitely one of the best units in the game. And that's why I also love Akane, because Akane's like the uber version of Housewife. Yeah, how many pangs are coming out? If this is just the beginning, I think this is a little bit too tedious, but we killed the Pufferfish at least. That's good. I feel like at least three or four pang waves would have been fine, not like this many. Unless they're freaking in. Oh, imagine they're infinite. And how many months do you think they will add new Zell units? I don't know. It's very sporadic when they do it. Oh my god, uh, oh god, okay, well then, this is gonna be interesting. All I can say is this is the URL true form thing, isn't it? <laughs> Question is, do you want to power creep this? I have no clue. Itty, Arr, get in there. Itty's not great here. Because Relic Buff my deck's too fast. Oh my god, dude. Is this stage asking for URL's true form? Maybe it is, I don't know. It just looks like something where URL true form... Is like meant to be put into and especially since i can't use ubers i guess instead of power creeping this with ubers i'll just power creep it with burel that's what it kind of looks like to me is there a chick-fil-a there's lots of angels in here but they're not that much of a problem they're simple aliens aliens angels can't speak can't get the right traits ah breaker bust i guess why the hell not interesting stage though like a combo definitely something for ZL actually out of anything. I'm really interested to see what Punis is gonna do gonna do for 2024. Excited. I'm excited to see what BCU is gonna do, or the BCU community is gonna do in 2024. 2024 also. Maybe like more uh BCU community events. That'd be kinda cool. Like E300 in 2023. Which I still gotta freaking do. Beginning, I'm not gonna lie, is really annoying. I don't like it. <laughs> Interesting combo, but really annoying to fight like i actually have to play this mostly on slow speed it means every time i have to do like a fighting chance in the second part of the stage i have always have to do this part tediously now they're beating the base oh my god i have no money i would love money oh uh, i was afraid of that and it did happen all right lisa help me out i love the I love the music in the background. That's so cherry for such a bun bun fight. You know? At least Pufferfish is like really weak now. So once he dies, I'll get like a good refill of money. 
So that's nice. I'm also gonna CPU because Relic Bun Bun is really annoying to meat shield. I just don't like to meat shield against them because I suck at meat shielding and, and one little misstep of a meat shield and then I'm dead. Or I should say Urel is dead and the run is dead. That's just how it is. Urel is awesome. Holy crap. Luza. Oh my god. What a combo right there, dude. That was beautiful. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing Luza like KB several enemies at once with his freaking devastating ass attack. It's way too satisfying. And yeah, this Bun Bun has like no freaking chance, bro. Look at that. Oh my god, the door unfreeze. Jesus. Now they're bare. I wonder how this stage was intentionally done. Because I think for sure your old true form did not exist back when this was uploaded onto my uh, Discord. So I really wonder how they did this Uberless. If they even did it Uberless, that's the thing. Because yeah, I bet there's a way. Well, without URL. But I think it'll take a little too long to figure it out. So I think just the power creep is much more appropriate in this stage, I would say. Because look at that. Oh, so beautiful. He's still alive, dude. This uh, Relic Bun Bun does not want to die. I, honestly, for me personally, I think Relic Bun Bun is one of my least favorite bosses. More because of history of having to fight him. I had a bad history of fighting him. I think he's just really annoying to fight. And really stressful most of the time. I'm just not a fan. He's just too fast for me to just keep an eye on at times. Definitely one of the more potent bosses in UL. That's for sure. Probably one of the hardest boss in UL, I would say. Like, seriously. Hardest enemies in UL to fight. At least Uberless. The stage just got destroyed. It did. Ah. Oh, I love Power Creep. I complain about Power Creep, but sometimes... I'm glad it exists, because now I can just easily cru cruise through this stage with URL's true form. Thank God. Otherwise, I have to do some crazy like stacking or combo strategy. Which, oh my God, you know how long you know how long that'll take? A long time. But look at that, GG's. Okay, this is really close range. That's kind of scary. Elephant guy, how are you doing? This looks like a slime cat thing. Just like chip with waves. That's really what this looks like to me. But yeah, so far not so bad. Just some trolley bloggers. The cash, I guess. Get a little my wallet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, Delfina. Oh my god, dude, I don't like Delfinas. They suck. They suck. Please relax. Okay, we got Hitman Cat to help out. Little doges to increase our RNG of the stage, so that's fun. Okay, we need more wave, I think. Oh my god, why is there so many little doges? That is a lot. Now please wave them all away. Yo! Way, way too many little doges. Another, oh my god, Delfina. Okay, well this is definitely interesting. Oh my god, oh well. Thankfully I have Catasaurus to help me out. But is that really going to help me out enough? I'm not sure. Hitman Cat is really good here. We'll definitely keep Hitman Cat. Maybe I need a better critical hitter. Uh, go on, help me. Oh god, why is this such close distance though? I think it's going to be fine if it was like a little bit longer distance. I can have like some more time to... Uh, take out this freaking Metal Hippo because he's really going to push with his KB ability. Oh god, this, this stage might take a while. Oh yeah, the Delfina's- And the Delfina's chipping the base doesn't help. It's like... Delfina's are sometimes... Or no, not sometimes. They're closely related to Tackies with their LD being able to hit the base from a good distance. And bro... As you can see, this is just... RNG. Little Doge... Look like this. Little Doge... And Metal Hippo. What a great duo of RNG. Here they are! Dolphins. Oh, how much I love dolphins in this game, bro. Dolphins are fun. Get that infinite surge in there, dude. Blank cat's good here. Really good. Okay, I need to get like a bunch of uh, metal cats out too. 
No Catasaurus until Metals come out. Oh, why Metals in this stage, though? Yeah, Slime Cat. Perfect for this stage. Excellent. Everything's excellent until this freaking Metal Hippo comes and ruins everything. But I love the surges so much that's happening right now. Look at this. I think we cleaned one of the Dolphinas out, which is nice. Level up well, just a little bit. Can't let them push. Oh my god, dude. He's so broken and I love it. I love uh, the wicked. Or I should say the brainwashed legs, bro. He's so freaking good. Uh, look at that. We can stack him and just like stack surges and stuff. And then, oh, well, he's gone now, but. Alright, I guess we just... I, I think we got it, honestly. It's really just a brainwash stage, not gonna lie. With just some good slime hits and a critical hitter. Not that bad of a stage. Well... Yeah, as long as we can keep critting him, that's the thing. He's probably a really strong metal hippo. He's taken several crits, but look at that. The elephant has been taken down. Now it's all about just critting the hell out of this metal hippo, so... Please, Catasaurus, do your thing while I speed up the game. Look at that. Perfect. Woo. Look at that. Easy stage, bro. Look at that. No probs. Just power creep it with your beloved brainwashed unit with Slime Cat. Oh my god. Look at that. The power creep is real.